Governor of Oriwari has said there is a compelling need for the board and management of the Pointer newspaper to review its operations with a view to making the newspaper self-supporting as there is a big problem when a 30-year-old man is still dependent on his parents for survival and sustenance. Governor Oriwari made the call in his remarks at the 30th anniversary of the Pointer newspaper held in Asaba with theme, Honoring Truth and Unity Through Excellence in Public Communication. Our Saba correspondent, Akwamajero Friday, reports that the governor posited that the marketing arm of the newspaper needs to be rejected in line with global best practices. Because if I don't say it, there are challenges. The circulation of the newspaper has dropped. Advertising patronage remains low. And the newspaper online presence is nothing to write to home about. Because when the chairman was talking, that they are already distributing to 25 local government. I monitor, uh, I monitor what they do. So if you say that you have improved, yes, you improve, but I will tell you that um, the distribution of all those newspapers has dropped. But for 30 years, that this newspaper is not self-sustaining. For 30 years, then it's wrong. It's very, very wrong. For 30 years, it has been existing, but it's still funded by state government. It continues to rely on government patronage and subventions to meet its financial obligations. This must change, especially in view of the current economic situation. On his part, the Director General Delta State Contributory Health Commission, Dr. Isaac Akwoveta, appreciated Governor Sheriff Oborowari for paying for poor Deltans who can't pay for hospital bills when they are sick across the 25 local government areas of the state. I declared the award to him and to the vulnerable people of Delta State, the common man out there that can hardly pay 7,000 to buy health insurance. The pregnant woman that can't pay 500,000 to deliver by cesarean section. The under five child that is convulsing and the mother cannot pay for his bill. The governor is paying the bills through the commission. So I cherish him and this is what he gave me the award. And I'm proud today that the state and the world is recognizing the effort we are doing in the commission with the effort of the state. And the state must be commended and as the commission is being commended. Director General of the Delta State Congress Commission ensure that the vulnerable person, the indigent person that could hardly have equity to health care, access quality health care during my tenure and beyond, and lives are saved. This I must remember for, and I'm happy about that. As not said, a pointer is still being pitted uh, through a top party process. If we can proceed to where we can equip them or possibly refurbish existing um, uh, printing press so that they can begin to print for themselves. That's the first thing. The moment you can print the paper by yourself, it makes it easier for you to increase your print run. It makes it easier for you to be able to be in control of your speed. That is the beginning. Once that is done, and then they are also provided with the facilities for them to properly distribute the papers so printed. You can take it from there. At that moment, you can ask, okay, you have your independence, go and generate your money, make sure that you're able to even pay something to the state government. But can I can tell you that the way they are now, if that assistance is not given, they may still continue to struggle to be able to meet up. Uh, the condition under which they operate, you will indeed appreciate the men and women who work in that establishment that they actually put in a lot to be able to produce on daily basis. Still on Delta State, the governor of Sheriff Oborowari has vowed to blacklist contractors who fail to execute projects according to the engineering specifications and evaluation criteria provided to them. Delivering remarks at the 70th birthday celebration of the Delta State Civil Service Commission Chairman, Chief Mrs. Rosalind Amioku, Governor Oborowari issued a stern warning to these contractors. He emphasized that his administration will closely monitor projects across the state and take action against any contractor found doing substandard work. Additionally, the governor announced that his administration has begun paying the new minimum wage, prioritizing the welfare of the state's workforce. 
He stressed that timely minimum wage payment reflects the commitment to supporting the well-being of public sector employees. The Catholic Bishop of Wari Diocese, Most Reverend Anthony Eweridu, acknowledged that current circumstances may seem dire for Nigerians. However, he urged the people not to lose hope, emphasizing that they should maintain optimism despite their challenging situation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.